S&M is well known for its in-house American-made frame manufacturing, so we're going to check out a couple of um, their latest offerings today. First up, we've got the Mike Hucker Clark signature frame. Straight away, you're going to notice that graphically, this is one of S&M's finest achievements to date. It has a snake doing a tabletop on there. There's a dolphin smoking a doobie and there's a great big shark on the head tube as well. So this really is a nice piece of kit and it totally suits Hucker's image and, and everything that he's about. As well as that, you've got a shaka in the top gusset and a nice engraved S&M shield in the down tube gusset. From a geometry point of view, it has an 8.8 .8 inch standover height all the way past the smoking dolphin and 11.7 .7 inch bottom bracket height and it has a 71 degree seat tube angle. Other little features that you'll notice are really nice is on the built-in seat clamp. It's got a nice little S&M shield debossed out of there. Some really nice looking dropouts, which sort of bullet tipped stays, which go right into the center of the dropout as well. And obviously really nice shapes on the bottom bracket and on the head tube. The Hucker frame weighs 4.86 pounds. It's available in trans black, this nice copper finish, and it's just come out in white as well, uh, it's available now from all four down dealers and it's 399 pounds, 99 pence, recommended retail. So, moving from the Hucker onto the S&M Credence MOD frame. So, S&M's Credence connection with Clint Reynolds has produced a couple of pretty trail influenced frames. Uh, this one, the MOD, has slightly more responsive geometry than the CCR frame. It has a 13.6 inch rear end, it has a 74.5 degree head tube angle and a 71 degree seat tube angle. It is available with a 20.75, 21, 21.25 and a 21.5 inch top tube size. It has a standover height of 9 inches which is Good, obviously anyone that rides trails or likes going fast, they like a bit more stability on the bike, which the higher standover helps to give. It has an 11.61 high bottom bracket and it has standard 14 mil axle slots on there. You notice on the uh, MOD frame that the brake mounts are on the chain stays and they're removable. And they've also dropped where the stays hit the bottom bracket, which means you can still run a smaller gearing on there and get the chain clearance when you run the brake that you would get if you had the brake mounts on the seat stays. A real cool thing with the Credence frames is they come with a few of the classic S&M shield graphics, but they also have this really nice stencil, which means you can basically take this stencil anywhere on your frame you like, and you can spray the graphic on there how you like. It enables you to fully customize your bike to your tastes, which is a really nice touch. The S&M Credence MOD frame is available in this candy red finish. It also comes in a trans orange. It weighs 4.78 pounds. It's available now from all four down dealers at a recommended retail price of 399 pounds and 99 pence. So pick one up and get spraying.